You're gonna screw your way to the top. I'm impressed. I am not screwing Stark. I am not screwing Stark. We're not even dating. We're not even dating. I'm serious, we're not. Okay, maybe I thought we were at first, but it's not like that now. We're just hanging out. Friends. <laughs> yeah, naked friends. Alex, you can't break the rules like that. That's unsanctioned use of a trash bag. You're gonna mess up our certification. Oh, you need to relax. This whole uptight thing, this is why you have no friends. Hey. Okay, this is why you have one friend. Give me that back! Are you crazy? Here you go, little guy. No hypothermia for you. Here you go, apes. I was thinking I could take the trauma rooms and uh, we could split the beds. I can handle trauma, Alex. It was one phone call. Doesn't mean I can't practice medicine. I still have three great hospitals who want me. Of course they do, apes. Don't call me apes. Who has worked with the tissue of the penis before? Kebner, keep your hand down. Shh. You're her teacher, Alex. Only for the day. Is this hard for you? Having to beg for interviews while some of us just sit back and get wooed? No one is begging. Oh, yeah, maybe you should. Maybe that way you'd actually get an interview. Ah! I love Mean Kepner. I got an interview. Oh, really? Where? Uh, places. Uh -huh. Whatever. But don't we look spiffy? No, I do. You look like crap. I haven't had a chance to freshen up yet, you ass. Whatever. You know what? Those programs can suck it. I'm tired of trying so hard not to be me. You know what? I like me. That makes one of us. You make it so easy. There was a story in the news recently where they used a cadaver bone to replace a cancerous one. You get my fries. Ooh. Yeah, hey, that smells good. You need help? Oh, uh, yeah, you can mince the garlic. Mm. Yeah, I don't know what that means. I'm not avoiding the interview. Really? Well, whenever you go, just beware. They may judge you more on your personality than what really matters, like your resume. Meredith's not like you. Her personality doesn't suck. See, this is why you don't deserve this job. You're bad at it. You get all stressed out and frantic and nobody wants to listen to you. You have no authority. And your voice, it gets all high and nasally like this when you're nervous. It's annoying. You're annoying. I can't wait until the next skills lab. I am totally on your team. Move or I'll run you down. <laughs> Freaking hilarious. <laughs> Here that you already have, let's see, uh, two bad outcomes in your OR. <laughs> Loser. Of course, that's nothing compared to Karev's impressive five bad outcomes. Oh. <laughs> I keep getting dud patient. Oh, great. Karev's here. Here to make us all laugh with funny jokes about my hands on a man's parts. This isn't funny. That poor guy. I know. Can you imagine becoming so swollen that a surgeon needs to use a scalpel to dig out all that excess tissue until the testicles and cords hit the open air? I mean, who even knows what happened to his penis and all that mess? That's not okay. <laughs> hey, you want my fries, apes? Not if they're pity fries. They taste the same. <laughs> what? Oh, you need anything? What do you mean? It's just, I mean, if you need anything, let me know, okay? Did, um, did Arizona tell you? I don't work in Pete's. I figured it out. You're like all happy all the time, kind of sweaty. How far along are you? Nine weeks. He doesn't know. Not yet. You should tell him before he figures it out, too. <laughs> 